Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave Purple Gold Gamers, and today I want to talk about. I want to do something a little bit different. We're actually not going to be working on any game console. I was just working on this Xbox. I want to talk about something that's very upsetting with these Xbox Series um, S models and X models that I'm starting to see a lot more lately. And that's what's really dealing with these SSDs. If you guys don't remember, and I'll show you guys over here on the upper cam. If you guys don't remember, I was the first person on the internet to learn how to be able to swap out an SSD on a Xbox Series by taking the raw partition off of the, this Xbox because it houses an encryption key that is married to your APU. And when you take that encryption key and you swap that encryption key from this SSD to say, I have another one right here, to this SSD, so I can move the encryption key from this SSD to this SSD, um, that will allow it to work because it houses the same encryption key needed to be able to get the system to be able to boot up. Now, what happens is if that encryption key doesn't line up, say I just take, even if I take a, another Xbox series and I take another um, M.2 SSD and I put it in this same Xbox, it will not work because the encryption keys that is listed on the raw partition cannot be um, identified by the APU and it will not work at all, uh, which is very unfortunate because Microsoft did that purposely, obviously, to make these things very, very unrepairable because unless you're, I mean, I'm not a crazy coder. I've been, I've asked around to people to see if there was some coder out there that could possibly make it, uh, make a, a um, raw partition that could be unlocked that could be able to work with any Xbox series. And as of right now, it is still not possible. I made that video two years ago on how I'm able to swap it out. And now that is still, that video is still accurate. You still can't swap these things out. You still can't move over the, the raw partition from one drive to the other drive. Now, what happens if the drive 100% dies? What happens when you got this SSD right here when you test every single one of these caps, every single one of the caps are testing just fine. There's no short present on the board. You 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 do a reball on the controller and on the data and still nothing. Then you're screwed. Um, and unless you send this thing off to one of those data recovery places to spend about $500 to get the, the actual raw partition out of here, you're really just left with a very, very expensive paperweight. And that's very unfortunate that Microsoft would do something like that because it's not like that with the PS5. With the PS5, yes, it's difficult to be able to swap out the SSD because it's an actual SSD controller, meaning it's a proprietary Sony SSD controller that's actually balled onto the motherboard. But you can still be able to take off that old SSD if it goes bad. And you can be able to replace it with another SSD from another PS5. Yes, you have to have another PS5 donor board laying around, or you can be able to get on eBay, AliExpress, and you can be able to buy another SSD controller and be able to swap it out and not have to have an encryption key of the SSD that's actually married to the motherboard. That was something that Sony got right. Sony got this wrong. I tested everything on this board. Rebought the ships. Still nothing. I got bust out my thermal camera looked at this chip it's lighting up and everything as it, a working ssd controller should and still can't get this thing to work still can't get anything out of it all i want to do is be able to get the raw partition off of this file that ha that off of this ssd that houses the encryption key moving over from this ssd over to my other ssd so my customer can have working game console now, if my customer wants a working game console, he's going to need another motherboard along with another SSD that matches the encryption key put on that APU. That is a shame, and it makes it a lot more difficult for the average person. It makes it a lot more difficult for a repair shop like mine to be able to go inside of these game consoles, be able to get these things fixed, and it makes just everything more frustrating. I've never 
in my 16 years uh, yes i've been repair game consoles since i was 14 um and i'll tell you guys that story maybe one day but i've been i haven't seen this since in my 16 17 years of repair game console where a hard drive or ssd was completely buried to the motherboard and you couldn't swap it out and here's the the um the ironic thing about these things as well say if i if this thing didn't work you take the raw partition off this well you put it over to another ssd and you put that ssd in here and it fully initializes it everything is good it put you get the osu1 os on here everything boots up perfectly fine but this ssd that still has the original encryption key on here if i was like hey i want to put in my other ssd and you know put that you can't do that now the old the the this is uh, mind-boggling to me, but every time you swap the SSD and you move that raw partition from one SSD to a new SSD, the encryption key changes when you reinitialize it. So that lets me know that you can't change the encrypt the um the the Mary encryption key that's tied to the APU because you can do it by swapping the raw partition from one ssd to another ssd and when you put inside that xbox and it goes to the initialization state when you put it when you put the osu1 update on here it it did takes that old encryption key it, it 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 looks at it it says okay this is the right one but we're going to change it now we're going to change the one that is married to and we're going to make it to where the old encryption key off the other ssd will no longer work so that's where I, we're still at still wait for someone to maybe create some unlock software or maybe create a, a a device that we can be able to hook up to these xboxes to save these xboxes so we can be able to change manually the encryption key on these xboxes i mean we've got really far with a lot of these game consoles thus far um i got a device for my that I use for PS5s now that I'm going to show you guys in my next video that um, allows it, allows us to be able to diagnose um, these PS5 purely from these devices. You can read the error code coming directly from the South Bridge, know exactly what's going on, get a picture of the diagram of exactly where that short is coming from, and you can be able to repair it purely from a device. So if you have a device like that for the P for the PlayStations, for sure, someone needs to be able to make a device like that for Xbox. So, still, two years later, still in the same boat. So, I just had to do this little rant because that was this was just frustrating because I've been getting these in a lot more often lately. And unfortunately, I got to tell my customers that either we changed your motherboard in the SSD or I can give it back to you and you just have an expensive paperweight now. So, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got anything to add in, add it down in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. But besides that, I hope to catch you guys on the flip side. See ya.